Yo guys, so welcome back to another video, and today I'll, I'll be um, telling, making a video on the three games that should be remastered for next-gen PS4, Xbox One, PC. Some of the games are already on PC, but they need to be remastered for the console as well. So the first game that we're going to be talking about is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, and this is on the PS2, PSP, and Xbox now. The car is a 300C Chrysler on the on the right, and a Escalade Cadillac on the left. Now this game was a really good game. I had loads of fun playing it back in the day. Um, fortunately, I can't play it now because I don't have an Xbox, but I used to. I used to have a PS2 as well. But this game needs to be on here. The customization, the racing was really good. It was pretty difficult at some points as well, and it just needs to be on there because. The car, the amount of cars that won there was amazing, and to be honest, there aren't really any good games, good racing games, apart from the crew, which I've only got. I haven't really played Need for Speed or anything like that, but Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition definitely needs to be on there. Also, there's Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, which is pretty good, cool as well. They had a few more cars like the Zonda, and they had a new location as well, which is Japan. A bit of a background story on the game. Basically, you're this kid, you're this guy, and I don't know where, what city you're from, but you're in the US. You started in San Diego, and then you could buy a car with like 22 grand, I think it was, or yeah, around about 22 grand. And then basically, you just have to work your way up, and then after a certain point, you go from San Diego to Atlanta, work your way up, and then go from Atlanta to Detroit. And then in between there were like tournaments which you could win cars in. Uh, the first tournament was a 300, no, a Lexus IS3200 I think it was, or IS300, I don't know. The second one was a Cadillac EXT. The third one was a bike. And the fourth one was a Cadillac CN, which was pretty cool as well. But this game does need to be on next gen. I had a lot of fun playing it sure loads of people would too and were and do and the people who played this game know that it's a really good game I'm sure everyone on next game would love to play this game and I'm sure that everybody who buy who's seen this game would really like it and buy it and I think the sales will be really high as well but Rockstar if you're watching this video if anyone's watching this video could send it to Rockstar because this game needs to be made because this game was just is one of the most legendary games that was from the last last gen. The second game we are going to be talking about is True Crime New York City. I really love this game. A uh, bit of a backstory on the game. Uh, you are a, you are a cop, a police officer, obviously in True Crime in New York City, and the missions they were like exceptionally hard, like really hard. I don't think me or my brother have ever completed this game it was that hard but it was so enjoyable as well you can get like on probation not well, kind of probation for like the police officer like if you start beating up civilians for no reason and stuff and you could get calls from the dispatch to go to like just random off mission type uh, police tasks and stuff you could buy cars it was amazing the graphics weren't too good, but it was like in the PS2 days, but this game was amazing. There was a sequel of it called True Crime Streets of LA, but that wasn't as good. I know the picture and everything was definitely better, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. But this game's definitely a hundred times better, and this game needs to be um, remastered. I'm not really sure who the developers were, but the, there was... Activision had a part in making this because as it says down there I think they could have been the publishers but this game was really good I hope it does come to next gen and I hope this video does get out there so that all these games can come up to next gen and I hope hopefully there won't be too much to buy because then everyone like you know the sales wouldn't be too good but if they're pretty cheap like if they're on like the PS2 classics like they're on PS4 and if they're like if you could get backwards compatibility with Xbox for Xbox One, then they could be on both platforms, which would be really cool. 
third game that we'll be talking about today is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Uh, the cover image, the cover art, is a BMW M3 E46 GTR, which is a really good car. A uh, bit of a background story, you had this E46 GTR, and basically you just like, you know, random street racer. Well, not random, but like, a small street racer. And then comes up Razor, like, this a really small street racer in a Mustang. And then he races you, and then you race some of his mates before you race him and then they tamper with your car to make it go all like funny and stuff so then your car doesn't work properly and then basically they're racing for pink slips and what pink slips are whoever wins the race gets you this car so Razor wins gets your BM and then you have to wake, work your way up all the way up back the ladder all the way up back 15 blacklist races and the way you do that is you have to win the amount of races that they have set for you get the amount of bounty and the amount of milestones now that was pretty easy with the first few, but then as you work your way up, it got like a lot harder. And the good thing about this is it, the customization was cool until it got up to like the first few last cars, which only had about two body kits, but all like the wheels, the spoilers, all the same. You could put a massive spoiler on like an Audi TT on an Audi A3. Like the car selection wasn't massive, but they had a good car selection as well. I had a lot of fun playing this, I've completed it quite a few times but it's really cool, I really need to do the challenge series as well. And these games need to be on next gen because trust me they'd make every old school gamer happy. Now the next game we're going to be talking about is 50 Cent Bulletproof, this was on PS2 and it was on Xbox 360 as well so you could be able to play it, you might be able to play on Xbox One but I'm not really sure about that because I don't have an Xbox One, I've got a PS4. And this game is made by Genuine Games and the publishers were Vexeni, Vexendi Universal Games. Now hopefully this will be back up on um, next gen and this game got an award for the best game music and I'm not surprised the game music in this was amazing. Like I haven't played this game in a long 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 time along with all the other games on this list but still this game needs to be on next gen because of the shooting, the storyline that was really cool. I can't remember really much about it, but the story I think... I can't actually remember the story, but it's really good. This game needs to be on next gen. Now the next game we're going to be talking about is 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. This is the sequel that came out for it. It's made by... The developers were Swordfish Studios and the publishers were THQ. And I'm not surprised this game had a... Um, that 50 Cent Bulletproof had a sequel because this game and the first game were really cool. Uh, the amount, the gun selection is good. Um, it wasn't, it's not as good as like the new Call of Duty's and stuff, but you know, this isn't like actual Call of Duty, it's just like a game made for like the rapper 50 Cent. This is a really good game, I had a lot of fun playing it. And this game, I haven't really heard much people talk about it, many people do like streams or videos on it and stuff that's why this game needs to be on here and I'm pretty sure loads of like all the bigger youtubers and stuff like that if they got their hands on this and they really knew what this game was about then they would actually love this game so that's why this game needs to be on the next gen list thanks guys for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and just before I get just before this video ends, I'd like to let you know that I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers before the 1st of November. And then the comments below, make sure to tell me what games you think should be remastered for next gen and I should reply. If I don't reply, it's because I can't see your comment even though it's in my notifications box. So thanks for watching, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. How we get to 100 subscribers before the 1st of November. And I will see you in the next video. Wow.